Welcome to my channel and thank you for taking the time to watch this video. I would also like to welcome Spirit into this reading and say thank you for the messages we are about to receive. This is a general reading. So the first card that you have is perplexity and it looks like you're worried about something. You want to make a change and it you're in, undecided about what to do. So you've got some kind of choice going on over here. Now, um, the card above it is biplicity, and you've do been doing a lot of learning. Uh, you know, there's a lot of uh, insight that you've had, a lot of change in the way you're thinking. So you may have uh, just, um, you know, you may be taking a, some kind of course of study or uh, learning some new skills, and this is now, um, you know, changing the way you're looking at things. You're getting a lot of insight coming in. You've got the high priestess over there, and that's also about study. So it seems like you're spending a lot of time by yourself and doing a lot of study and getting a lot of insight as well. So she is the keeper of the keys of knowledge. So you are doing some kind of learning that is going on. Uh, and, you know, it's it's caused you to maybe, uh, you know, uh, step back from the crowd and spend a lot more time uh, trying to learn, uh, you know, focused on that, uh, that uh, uh, information. <coughs> now, in the past, you've got the chance and the affinity card. So it seems like some kind of opportunity presented itself and this meant that you had to take that kind, that risk. Um, and uh, it was something uh, that you wanted to do. So you've got the empathy card over here. So whatever that risk is, you know, you were drawn towards it. Whatever this new opportunity is, you were drawn towards it. And, you know, you um, it's something that you wanted to always do, um, something that attracted you. Now, because you've had that affinity card, if you look at this particular card, she's got the same flower. So you've got some kind of choice that you have to make, uh, you know, um, because of this new information or new learning that you have done or this risk that you've taken, you have now reached a point where you have to make some kind of decision <coughs> about how to proceed. Now, going into the future, you've got an offering over there and you've got purification. So there's some, some kind of sacrifice that needs to be made. Uh, you know, maybe you have to give up something in order to get something. Uh, and in that will allow you to rise to a position of authority or, or a promotion. But there is something that you have to give up. So you might need to make a home move, change the place that you live in. You might need to even give up a lot more time, uh, make a lot of, you know, some kind of sacrifice that needs to be made in order for you to get uh, to reach your goals. And then you got the purification card over here. And this is about finding balance uh, in your life. So, you know... If you're needing to make, um, you know, put in a lot more time uh, into your work, uh, then you have to really uh, strike a balance between your social uh, um, life or your personal time versus your time spent at work. And so that particular choice is going to, you're faced with that particular choice. And that is the decision, it seems, that you are uh, trying to make at this particular moment. Uh, whether or not you want to put more effort into this particular job so that you can rise to the top you know, it's going to take that kind of sacrifice or whether you want to just, um, you know, stay, uh, keep the, uh, it as a status quo and, and stay in, uh, you know, where you are at and have no more progress. So you are reaching that decision and there is some kind of balance that you will need to strike um, in order for you to be happy as well as to be productive. So you are being made, left with that kind of choice at this particular moment. So in, those are the energies for those two weeks. A dilemma. So I'm going to just draw some uh, cards from the Vanessa Tarot, and this is for the main read. So at the bottom of the deck, you've got the Page of Wands. So you are making plans. Uh, there's some kind of project, a new project that you are trying to begin. Uh, and you are making a lot of plans. Uh, you might be juggling two opportunities uh, that come your way with this Page of Wands um, by putting something into action. Um, this is could also be about making plans to travel. So maybe your your job involves doing business travel or communicating with a lot of people, foreign people. Or, you know, maybe you're even expecting some news to come in uh, from overseas uh, with regards to some kind of project that you're working in. Since this is a child on a, on a toy horse, it's more like about something that's in the planning stage and working on that rather than actually putting something, uh, than actually doing that particular project. So it's a lot more about planning. Now you've got the two of cups over here and it's crossed by the six of swords. So there's a choice that is going to be made here. So you're in the process of trying to make a decision here. Now the two of cups usually talks about, you know, 
uh, meeting soulmates and that kind of thing. But in, in a work spread, it's more about that choice, about choosing something that you love. So something is going to come on offer to you uh, that is going to be very, very attractive, some kind of opportunity that's going to be very attractive to you. And this opportunity is going to be either something that involves a lot of travel, uh, and you can see that going overseas with this Six of Swords over here. So something that is going to be presented to you, uh, this new opportunity, and it's something that you've been waiting for for a long time. You really want to do this. Uh, maybe it's part of your soul plan, uh, but it's definitely going to bring in a lot more travel. And, you know, whatever drama you're dealing with, if you're dealing with any issues that are going on at work, uh, it's going to take you out of that arena, bring you into a much more calmer situation. So you are being faced with this choice about whether or not you want to take this new opportunity that is being presented to you. Now, you've got the four of coins over here. So, um, you know, you've been in a very stable position. You're managing to accumulate wealth. You know, you are very uh, settled in whatever job you're doing at the moment, and you're comfortable in it. Uh, you know, you are managing to grow, uh, and but, you know, you might, with the fours, it's about, you know, reaching a, almost a phase of being stuck or being bored in that particular post. So maybe there's been no more financial growth and, you know, you need to uh, expand in order for you to actually progress. So you're in this particular position. You're quite comfortable. You're quite stable. You're managing to sort your finances out. You're managing to accumulate wealth. And that's been going on in the last year. Now, this opportunity has presented itself with this three of wands. It seems like in the last three months, something about travel, putting out an, a project maybe on, on the um, um, global market or some kind of overseas travel coming into your arena right now. And maybe this is now an opportunity to, tra to travel has has entered. Uh, so you might be communicating with people from overseas and making plans to actually travel. Or you may have even started traveling already because you've got that three of wands over there. But you're definitely collaborating with a lot of people uh, that are foreign to you. So, uh, you know, meeting a lot of people on the international front, but maybe also making a lot of business trips as well. Now, you've got the Ten of Wands. So you have been taking sole responsibilities and you have been in the limelight. You have been in the spotlight and you have been the one, the go-to person as well. So you have been somebody that's responsible for a lot of things. And, you know, th these pressures might be getting to you. You might be feeling a bit overburdened and a bit stuck. So going to the future, you've got the Four of uh, Swords over here. This is talking about... Uh, needing to take a little step back and uh, rethink your plans, really come up with a new strategy. Um, and also, it's a time that you need to de-stress. So you might need to take a little bit of a holiday, a little bit of a break, a little bit of a sabbatical in order to make a decision about what you want to do. Rethink your plans, really. Now, you've got that two of coins. So there you are uh, at a crossroads, at a decision point about what you want to do. So you are, you know, reviewing your finances as well. You are reviewing whether or not you want to stay in this particular place. It may offer a lot of stability because you've got that four of coins. It's about being stable financially or just being very, you know, grounded in that particular post. And you are trying to make a decision about whether you want to move or whether you want to stay. Or, you know, whether you want to accept this new, there's a new job offer or there's some kind of new opportunity that has come in as in the form of, uh, you know, a career move. Uh, there's, there you are sitting on the fence. So you are at a decision point right now. So what's happening around you, you can see that offer has come in over here with that four of cups. So, you know, it might seem like maybe you have to sacrifice too much to actually, uh, you know, take this. Uh, because with the Four of Cups, it's about being bored in where you, you are at. But this new offer presents itself and you really don't want to take it because you don't know whether it's going to have a good outcome or not. So you do need to take with that Four of Swords. Uh, you've got a lot of Four cards over here. So whatever you're doing, it seems like you're in a very, very stable position and you have... It's almost like the world is your oyster. You have everything going for you and you now have the ball is in your court. You need to actually make that decision yourself. So you do need to take some time out to make a decision about whether or not you want to accept this opportunity. You are weighing the pros and cons. You are weighing the situation very carefully. It looks like it's going to be a good opportunity as well. And it might be something that puts you into uh, the spotlight, makes you, gives you more recognition, give you, gives you more rewards. You've got the king of coins over here. Now you want to achieve, uh, you know, your goal is to achieve the height of success in the sense that you want this management position. You want good money. You want stability. Uh, you know, you want in a position of authority. So this is where you're working towards. Uh, that's where, what you're ambitious for. There might be some kind of promotion that you're going for.
Now going to the future, you've got the Queen of Cups over here, the Hanged Man, and the Eight of Coins. So the Queen of Cups is somebody who feels rather, you know, feeling a bit miserable maybe sometimes. Uh, with the Queen of Cups, uh, she tends to be a bit emotional, uh, you know, um, allowing a lot of the emotional baggage to uh, color the situation, shall I say. Now, this could also be that you might be getting advice from somebody who's a water sign person, which could be a uh, Cancer, a uh, Scorpio, or Pisces. But I think this is more your energy, and this is how you're feeling. Uh, you know, you are, uh, you may have uh, maybe a very nurturing maternal side, and you may be very attached to wherever you are at at the moment. And maybe this uh, idea of change is scaring you. So maybe this is the reason why you're not, uh, you know, really comfortable making this decision about whether to move or to accept this new offer. You're having a little bit of doubt as well. Because you can see she's almost turned her back to the stars over here. So you want to stay put uh, because it's, you know, it's very stable. You've got a lot of fours uh, and you are waiting for things to change. You're waiting for things to happen. You're not being very, very product, uh, proactive. You want things to work out. And maybe the sacrifice that you have to make might be a bit some, too big. Uh, um, for you. Maybe you're not really happy or keen to make the sacrifice of time or maybe uh, if you have to make a move you're not keen to actually move. So you are waiting for things to happen. But you've got the eight of coins coming in over here. So, you know, it looks like maybe you might, you know, it might be that you choose uh, to continue working here, but also choose further study or, or maybe, you know, do something where you're uh, doing um, much more learning. Maybe you need to do um, uh, more, um, maybe you need to improve your skill set a bit more in order for you to get these positions of authority. Um, you've got this uh, eight of coins, which is about money coming in with the work, but also, you know, about learning as well. Uh, and you're waiting for something to happen. And maybe this is, you're just going to continue. Uh, maybe you feel that you need to have uh, a lot more uh, learning going on before you finally have, um, you know, uh, what you need to actually get or take this new post on. So you are at some kind of dial uh, crossroads. Uh, you know, there is a decision that you have to make there is some kind of offer that is coming in. Uh, now, you know, this maybe this new job offer in itself is going to involve more learning and it's going to involve you doing more study as well. But it seems like you're a bit reluctant to actually make that change because it might actually mean you needing to move, um, you know, to travel and you may not be too keen on doing that. So a bit at a crossroads over here uh, um, and you do need to take some time out and consider all your options and then make your decision. You are pretty stressed at the moment. Uh, it seems like you know you have been overworking quite a bit here with that Ten of Wands. Now let's see what the Oracle card says. And this is the Fairy Tarot and it says the Five of Spring. Opposing goals arising from differing opinions, feeling at odds with yourself or others, and overly ambitious people. So you're dealing in a, you're, the situation that you're uh, in. There's a lot of power struggle going on, so a lot of competition. It's very, very challenging as well. So you're dealing with that kind of energies around you. Now you've got the Sun card over here. So you know it looks like you are going to overcome obstacles here. The Sun card is success after going through a little bit of hard work, uh, but managing to get victory or being success. So plans that work out perfectly, amazing ideas that leads to rewards and commendations and gratitude to the blessings of life. So the Sun card is a um, you know a success card and it is the card that really rules uh, Leo so uh, getting that recognition getting uh, success in whatever you're doing and achieving uh, ambition so your plans are going to work out whatever they are um, so you do need to take some time out uh, a step away from the situation and make uh, a decision and then you've got the three of spring over here so plan your next steps with the eye for long term have patience there are more good things to come satisfaction from a job well done now, the Three of Spring over here is so, the same as the Three of Wands. So it looks like, you know, you are going to be doing a lot of traveling, a lot of collaboration, uh, and, you know, um, you are going to be managing a lot of projects uh, anyway. Uh, so, uh, you know, these, um, this card is advising, you know, make, make uh, concrete plans, and your plans are going to be successful because the, you've got the Sun card over here. Uh, so, you know, you are going to be able to overcome any obstacles and challenges, uh, but you need to be very, very well planned up. So do a lot of research and come up with a good strategy. The idea behind the Four of um, Swords is to actually strategize in order for you to move forward. 
And, you know, if you're taking on too many responsibilities and this is sacrificing a lot of your time, you need to let go of those responsibilities in order for you to move forward. So whatever this new offer is, it might even be a promotion that is coming in for you. It is well worth considering taking it because it's going to open the doors for learning uh, new skills. And, you know, it's going to mean that you're going to uh, be better at what you do. And, uh, you know, it's eventually going to get you into that position of being that king of coins, which is, you know, um, going to be a, a position of leadership. So you that's where you're vying, it seems, and you are considering your options at the moment. Um, you know, even juggling finances as well a little bit there. So it might end up bringing in a lot more money for you. So there is that new opportunity, and you do need to take some time off and make sure you're very, very well planned off uh, before you accept uh, what is going on. It looks like it might be something that, you know, it's well worth uh, considering. So I hope that this reading has resonated with you. Please don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Leave me some comments if it hasn't. Thank you so much for watching. Take care now. Goodbye.